Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over our virtual algebra text on systems of equations. In this particular presentation we're going to be focusing on how to solve systems of equations using the elimination method. Alright, so the instruction for um, this presentation are for us to solve the given system of equations by elimination. Okay, so let's say that the system is given by negative 3x minus 10y equals negative 10 and 6x plus 8y equals negative 28. So let's start by describing or defining what a system of equations are. Okay, now a system of equation is basically a collection of two or more equations that have related unknowns. Okay, a collection of two or more equations that have related unknowns. So in this particular case, we have two equations and their related unknowns are the x's and the y's. Elimination basically involves reducing the system into one equation where you have exactly one unknown. In order to be able to solve an equation, one equation you need to have a maximum of one unknown or else you're going to have infinitely many solutions. All right. So the goal here is to eliminate either the x's or the y's in order to um, have one variable and one equation. So when you're solving systems, this is the approach you use when you're using the method of elimination. First of all, you start by um, looking for multiples. Well, first of all, the keyword that we were looking at here is opposites. Okay. Now, why are opposites so important? The bottom line is when you combine opposites, two terms that are opposites of each other, they uh, basically eliminate each other. All right. So we look at the X's and the Y's and we want to create opposites. So the question is, which one is the easiest to create opposites for? Is it easy to create opposites in the X or in the Y unknown areas? So this is a strategy you want to use. First of all, you want to, um, use the idea of uh, multiples. You ask yourself, is one variable in one equation a multiple of the other? If that's the case, then normally that's the easiest one to use. If you do not have a scenario where the variables are multiples of each other, then you have to use the GCF approach. You find the greatest common factor of either the coefficient of the x's or the coefficient of the y's. All right, so we're focusing on just the coefficients. Now let's focus our attention on the um, on the x's first. If we want to focus our if we focus our attention on the x's, we we'll ask ourselves: Are these multiples of each other? The <coughs> all right. So we can see that these uh, the x's are multiples of each other. Okay, because when you multiply three by two you get six. So we're going to use the multiples approach. Okay. So now we're going to ask ourselves, since they're multiples, how can we make them opposites of each other? What is the appropriate integer to multiply the equations by to um, make them opposites of each other? All right. So what we're going to do is start off by labeling our equations. So we're going to call the equation, the first equation, equation one and then call the second equation, equation two, so we can stay organized with our work. So we want to create opposites with the X's because it's very easy to do. Now let's just take a look at the Y's for example. How easy is it to create opposites here? Eight is not a mul 10 is not a multiple of eight. So in, that, in this particular case, you will have to use the GCF and the GCF of 10 and eight is uh, 40. And then you have to multiply the top one by four and the bottom one by five, which is uh, much more complicated. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and multiply the first equation by what? 
what do we multiply the first equation in order to get the opposite of 6? Let's write down what we're about to do. We are going to multiply, multiply equation 1 by the integer value 2 to in order to to eliminate what? In order to eliminate the x's. While we're multiplying by 2, well check this out. If we multiply the first equation by 2, we achieve the opposite of 6, which is negative 6. Remember, we're focusing our attention on the coefficients of the variables. Okay? Now let's carry out the multiplication. To prevent us from forgetting our distribution, we're going to use arrows here as a visual guide. Distribute this uh, integer to all the three terms on both sides of the equation, like that. So what does that yield? We have uh, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. We have negative 6x. 2 times 10 is negative 20. Negative 20y equals 2 times negative 10 is negative 20. We are going to bring down equation 2, leave equation 2 unchanged. So we have a new system. 6x plus 8y equals negative 28. All right, let's pause for a second and ask ourselves this question. What have we just accomplished? We have just created opposites in the x column. Okay, why are we creating opposites in the x column? We are creating opposites because upon combination, that variable will be eliminated. Okay, so when we combine these two equations, negative 6 and 6x add up to 0 they get eliminated and then we are left with what let's see what we're left with negative 20 plus 8 gives us negative 12y remember when the signs are different you subtract and keep the sign of the bigger which is um, 20 in this case all right and then here the signs are the same we add and keep the sign so negative 48 now to solve for y we can accomplish that in just one step now you see the beauty of elimination. When you eliminate one variable, you have one equation and one unknown, which can be solved using basic algebraic procedures. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 12, the coefficient of y, in order to uh, achieve the isolation of the y variable. Okay, so we're going to have y equals this 12s divide out to 1. And you have y equals minus divided by minus is plus slash and dash 48 divided by 12 is 4 so there is your first answer now this system of equations is in two variables we have two unknowns we have just found one so we have to now find the second one okay so we have three equations to select from either equation 1, equation 2, or equation 3 here, because this one is still 2. Um, we are just going to substitute 4 for y in one of them and solve for x. Now it looks like equation 2 is the safest or the easiest to work with because we do not have too many negatives present here. Okay, so we're going to use that. What are we going to do? We're going to substitute for for the y in equation 2 okay substitute 4 for the y in equation 2 and then we're going to solve that resulting equation remember if you use 1 2 or 3 and you substitute correctly you will get the same answer we're just trying to use the path of least resistance here so we have 6x plus 8 now instead of y what are we going to put? We're going to put 4 because we already know what the value of y is in that, the first area here. y is 4. Okay, so that equals negative mm, 28. Now we can solve this equation. Let's simplify first. 6x plus 32 equals negative 28. Now, how can we solve this for x? This is an easier equation. We have one equation, one unknown. 
to solve this, we simply subtract 32 from both sides and divide by 6. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Subtract 32. Subtract 32. And what does that give us? We have um, 6x is equal to signs of the same, add and keep the sign, negative 60. Remember, uh, these two here add up to 0. Negative 2 and negative 32 plus 32 add up to 0. So to finish this up, we just simply divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 6. This is a product here, so the inverse of multiplication is division. So this divides out, 6 goes here once, 6 goes here once. So we have x equals negative 60 over 6 is negative 10. Remember, when you divide numbers with different signs, you always end up with negative. Okay? So our solutions... Our solution to this system of equation is negative 10 for the x, comma 4 for the y. So how well did you master the contents of this presentation? To demonstrate mastery, we would like you to try out the following problems. So try these problems out. Uh, the instructions are the same. We are still supposed to solve the given systems by solve the given systems by elimination okay there are other methods that can be used but we're focusing on um, elimination in this presentation so the first one what if you have negative 7x plus 16y equals 8 and negative 2x plus 8y equals negative 8 number 2 but if you have x minus 9y equals 8 and 7x plus 10y equals negative 17 number 3 but if you have negative 5x minus 6y equals negative 1 and then 2x plus 12y equals 10. All right, so what we'd like you to do, please pause this video and uh, try out these problems. When you're done, um, go ahead and reinitiate the playback so you can see what the answers are. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you had a chance to try out the problems. The solutions to the problems are as follows. So for uh, the first one, you eliminate the y's first. When you solve it, you will get negative 8, comma, negative 3. A solution for number 2, for this one, you eliminate the x's first by multiplying the first by negative 7. When you solve it completely, you get negative 1, negative 1. And then for number 3, uh, you eliminate the y's by multiplying the, second equa the first equation by 2. When you solve that completely, you will get negative 1, comma, 1. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of um, systems of equations, do give us a thumbs up. Your uh, feedback is extremely valuable to us. If you have any questions about the examples that we get um, presented or if you want to request any math tutorials in general, just place your questions or requests in the comment section below and we'll be glad to respond. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get updates to our other cool math tutorials that we are going to be uploading. We upload tutorials to our site on a, on a weekly basis. Also, you can feel free to visit our website at mathgotserve.com for access to more tutorials, worksheets, games, and tools that can help you be successful in um, your studies of algebra. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.